What is happening, YouTube? Thank you for watching the Duranify channel. Over my shoulder is the Femi Navi app. This video covers the latest update as of August 19th, 2019, that updated the firmware on the camera to the 1018B, but also gave you a brand new look to the Femi app. So let's check out this new app. Let's get started. All right, let's get started with the firmware update review of 1018B. Uh, first thing it fixes is the black screen issue for when you're switching between 1080p 100 frames a second to photo mode. Second thing it handles is the media library exception problems. The third thing that it fixes is it optimizes the white balance and improves the problem with white balance jump in specific green vegetation scenes. That's cool. Number four, appropriate adjustments of a color style more tends to warm. That's nice. And number five, adjust to improve the image transparency and the most important, improve the high frame rate video brightnesses. And we'll see more of that coming up soon. All right, let me get the level out of the way. And here's my two good buddies, the frog and the bear. And you see in the lower left-hand quadrant, this is uh, um, the blinking uh, red box. It's illustrating that when I'm moving the exposure value with my right index finger, now it lights it up in green. So 1018B gives you um, a highlight. The settings are changing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to manual mode. And um, once I'm in manual mode, I can use the index finger to change the ISO. You can see here that the ISO is now uh, highlighted in green. So now we know that's the setting we're playing with when we're moving our thumb wheel. So that makes it super nice. Kudos to the Xiaomi Femi Navi app group. Uh, all right, and what I wanted to show you here is illustrate what 1017E, the previous firmware update, did see as I'm changing the EV value, you can see that is no longer highlighted in green. So that just shows you the difference. I just wanted to point that out, and I'm also going to show you the difference, you know, with with ISO also because uh, it's important to just kind of do the apple to apple comparison here. The other thing to notice too is look at the image quality, right? Um, it's not as sharp as it was uh, with the 1018B. So, um, man, the development group here for the Navi app guys, they're doing a good job, man. They're making this camera better, making it come alive. So I am stoked and super happy. Thumbs up to you guys at uh, Xiaomi Femi Navi Engineering. Okay, so as you can see, I moved the ISO all the way to 3200 and it never did highlight it. And now I'm moving it back down to uh, 100. And um, so one of the things that I wanted to illustrate to you here is just show you that this is the 1017E firmware. But what we're going to see is the stark differences when we switch the frame rates. Okay, so I'm inside and I was going to use the shot because it was kind of cool. The background is really cool and all that, but it was way too dark. But watch this. When I go to <clears throat> 2.7K at 60 frames a second, when I hit this thing, it's going to go so dark. Ready? Bam! Look at that. I mean, you can barely see my little buddy's legs there. And the only reason why I could tell they're there because I was staring at it before, right? And I'm just trying to confirm this in my mind. I'm like, holy crap, what is going on here? 60 frames a second? Bam! Look at that. The only thing you can see is his little legs from the blinking LEDs from the X8 aircraft. So again, I wanted just to verify this in my mind and <laughs> I turn on the light brightness to get it so I can see our subjects, right? And then I move the camera up to even get a better view of their eyes because <laughs> that's the widest part there. So, and then I decide to switch it to 30 frames a second and boom, now I know that at 60 frames a second, the brightness was having issues. So that's what it fixed, 1018 fixed that problem. And we'll see that coming up, how, how well they did. Um, but, uh, and 
even further, I'm testing the high frame rate at uh, 1080p, and this is 100 frames a second. You can see that's pretty dark, right? And when I hit 30 frames a second, boom, it lightens up. Even 60 frames a second, it was pretty dark. 24 is pretty cool. But watch what happens when I hit 720p at 200 frames a second. Of course, we're going to get that huge crop in factor, right? But it, I mean, it's, it's pretty dark. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the only thing that seems to jump out here to me is, you know, the bear's little eyes, right? But I wish I could have used this background on my desk uh, because of the fact that it's, it's a cooler look, right? With the accent lighting being purple and all that stuff. So I, uh, but I wasn't able to use it because it's just... It was indoors and the sensor for the Femi is not that great under low light conditions. So then I decided to uh, move outside and do the testing outside. But in my mind, I'm still trying to figure this thing out. So I'm increasing the EV value as far as I can get it to plus three and trying to lock in the white balance, right? And I still can't brighten it up. So I finally give up and just, just bring it all back down to zero again. And then I wanted to make sure I wasn't going crazy. And so I, I set it back to, you know, 4K, 24 frames a second. Or, and, and boom, you can see the lighting conditions are so much better. I mean, the sensor picks up the light so much better uh, under the... the 4K, 24 frames a second. Okay, so now we move to the latest firmware of 1018B, and I'm going to illustrate to you guys how well this program development team has done. Look, 60 frames a second, it got a little darker, you know, but it wasn't that drastic change that we saw before. See, now we're going to go to 24 frames a second, and I'm going to put it back a 60 just to kind of, you know, see it. Oh, check that. Now, in 1080p, 100 frames a second, it didn't really get dark at all. You see that? And that's 24 frames a second, right? And so... I'm just kind of verifying how well these guys are doing their work, and uh, I'm impressed. They're getting the cameras coming alive, guys. It's really nice to see this. It really is. So here's when I decide to go back to 24 frames a second just to do a quick sanity check. And then at 200 frames a second, look at that. I mean, it's sweet. It's still bright. So, super impressed, kudos, kudos, kudos to the development team of the Navi app. Thanks for doing that, guys. I am going to hit the firmware update. You will see the revision levels that I have, and this is as of 8-15-2019, August 15, 2019. These are the settings. You can see the update button at the bottom is grayed out, so it is the most current firmware available today. Oh,
8 and the controller and we're in the process of connecting. And saying that I have compass interference and on so here's the new firmware revision levels that we're seeing and it gave us new looking icons right so check them out they look much nicer and this is